The holidays can be a great time to promote reading among the little ones on your gift list. Julie Temple Stan from Early Moments is back with us today to show us some great gift ideas to promote early literacy. It's so good to have you back it's with us. It's great to be here. Thanks, Th Julie. Thanks for coming in. Now, today we're talking about young readers, the yes. preschoolers, the kindergartners, and you say that um, gifts that promote early liter literacy don't have to be books. No, no. So tell us about some of those things that are great for three and four year olds. Sure, for, for preschoolers, we have a series called My First Steps to Learning, mm -hmm. which focuses on uh, the ABCs and one, two, threes, and there are some wonderful um, activity cards that go with it from the one, two, threes, and ABCs that, that fit into uh, a, an adorable little carrying case that kids can take with them uh, wherever they go and just reinforce any kind of early literacy activity. And those are really helpful for yeah. preschoolers. I know my son uses something like that. Okay, now tell us about the calendar. This is really nice. Now, calendars are a great way um, for children to have um, something of their own. You, I hang this in my four-year-old's room, and he just loves it because it's all of his favorite characters that he grew up with, that I grew up with, and he can um, put wherever, what, there's, there are stickers that come with it. Right, they can put uh, their birthday on it or, or the first day of school or anything that's important to them. And it just gives them something that's theirs and, and ownership. And um, it's a lot of fun. There's also activity books um, with all kinds of uh, fun activities that kids can do. Who knew a calendar could be so much fun? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell us about some of the books. You've got some classics and some new stories here. Yes, yes. This is Early Moments um, collection of Wonderful World of Reading from Disney. And these are the, the stories that we grew up with that have been bringing families together for generations. And they're perfect for preschoolers. Um, and, you know, it has the newer titles as, such as Princess and the Frog, which yeah, this is the is new This is brand princess. new. So brand exciting. New. Yeah, this yeah. Is yeah. And she's the newest princess. She's My six-year-old is so excited right. about meeting Tiana. Of course. Um, and Up and uh, Tinkerbell's The Lost Treasure and all of these wonderful things, as well as the classics such as Toy Story and um, Sleeping Beauty and, and Beauty and the Beast. And the kids love cars. They and do. Toy Story as well. And you have a couple more over here. These yes, are, yes. Okay, this Dr. is Seuss. this is Early Moments, Dr. Seuss uh, and Friends Book Club. These are some great holiday titles, you know, with snow. This is one that I grew up with. I love this book from P.D. Eastman as well as the Berenstein's Christmas and, and who can fret, forget Dr. Seuss's How, you know, How the of Grinch course. Stole Christmas, the classic in my house. Tell us yeah. about um, tips that parents can use to help their kids with reading. Sure. Um, reading is so important. Um, it, Basically, for, for uh, preschoolers, really the things that you want to focus on um, are keep reading to your child. Ask questions when you're reading with your child. Read predictable books, such as these books in here, uh, the My First Steps to Reading, as well as poetry and rhyming books is another great um, type of book to read, such as the Dr. Seuss book. It helps expose them to all the different elements of language. And kids develop it at all different rates. That's but right. You That's have right. Um, a checklist that you use yes. to sort of assess at when they're in the kindergarten level, how they're doing, right, and what right. their reading level right. is. These are meant as guidelines, not really hard and fast rules. Mm -hmm. So every child develops differently. If you have a question about um, your child's development for a, for a five-year-old, consult your teacher. But um, when it comes to reading, you should ask yourself, one, um, does my child show interest in books and reading? Two, does my child try to read books and take pride in what he's doing? So it would be great if your child grabs one of these books and says, look, Mom, I can read this. See? I can do it. I can do it. And even if they can't do it completely on their own, trying to reinforce any part of reading that they can do on their own is, is just invaluable. Um, three, does your child follow a series of, event, of events? So like I was saying with um, the wonderful world of reading, can your child recall the events in the story? That's another good sign. Um, number four, does your child connect with what happens in the story to his or her life? So can she say, um, you know, Dumbo, I loved reading Dumbo, and it's just like when we went to a circus, Mommy, you know, and, and those kinds of experience really help make reading um, more valuable. Um, and the fifth one is, does your child ask questions, and do they make comments about the stories? And that will tell you that your child is understanding what he or she is reading. And finally, you have a set that's really good for this kindergarten level. Yes, yes. The the set that we have is a phonics reading program mm -hmm. and this has not just reading but it has spelling
reading and writing, and it has all different kinds of um, readers that were developed by teachers, but this is especially made for the family. So there's games involved, there's CDs, there's all kinds of things to make reading a whole family activity, and that's really what it's all about. Because if your kids see you reading, exactly. they're going to want to read too. Exactly, and that's where it all starts. Julie, thank you so much. Great ideas for the holidays and any time for that matter. Thank you so much. Great to have you here, and for more great ideas for the holidays and all year round, you can go to earlymoments.com. Thank you so much for watching Parents TV. Happy holidays, everybody.